pandemic playground. I was working at an elementary school as a substitute during the COVID crisis when they made me a playground monitor. They lined up the children like fence posts. They painted dots on the playground asphalt that weren't big enough to contain anything. Most kids ate backpack snacks while standing alone on their private polka dot islands. The girls seemed able to talk from a distance, but boys wanted to cluster together and push each other over and jump on each other's backs. This is not good pandemic behavior. The worst part of my job was to diffuse the situation by getting in close proximity with the problem children. I would walk toward their clusters and wait for them to calm down and quietly separate themselves before I arrived. If they didn't return to their dots, I'd have to ask them, please put your feet inside of a polka dot island. And they would do that until my back was turned and they would no longer be crowd controlled as I walked away. They would go back to their job of being children. That's a good thing, being children. Nobody should skip their childhood. I never wanted to grow up and become a cop. When I signed up for a substitute teaching job, I wanted to teach, but I learned to play a proximity game in classrooms. Walking behind the children at their computers, I watched what to see what they were watching or doing with their phones under the desk. It's my job to correct them, to pull them aside and ask, do you know why I pulled you over? In California, cops can't do that anymore. It's called entrapment. I wish I could let them text friends and play games, but kids are smart, and if they get the upper hand, I lose control of the entire classroom. That's happened to me. It's not a good thing. I know when I fail, I want them to succeed. I was a good kid. I liked school. I enjoyed doing my work in exchange for a happy face or a sticker. I tried to stay out of any real trouble, but if they forced me to stand around on stupid little dots and not allowed me to play with classmates, I would have to rebel. This pandemic, trend this pandemic trapped children on little painted dots. They weren't even allowed to play with each other during recess. I have no idea what we did to them or what kind of people they're going to be when they grow up. Who knows what's going to happen if these kids finally start moving around and talking to each other.